Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Um, not breaking news, but kind of breaking news. Most people will have already heard about this already. Uh, but we are talking about it sooner than most of the things that happen in, as far as when we actually get it out into a video and have time to film something. Yeah. Now, there was a situation that happened last night. And uh, why don't you explain it a little bit? In, in the Montreal-Florida game... Max Domi and Aaron Ekblad went into the corner going for the puck. Uh, Ekblad, uh, I say cleanly, challenged Domi for the puck. Uh, and then Domi turned dirty on Ekblad and tried to go with him in a fight situation. Ekblad wouldn't go. No eye contact, anything like that. And Domi swung his right arm back, dropped the glove off it, and cold cocked him right in the nose. Sucker punch. Yep. And right down on the ice, Ekblad went. And right off the ice, Domi went, and he is now been disciplined. He has been suspended for the rest of the preseason for the Montreal Canadiens, which is five games, I believe. They have five games left. Uh, now, we haven't actually discussed this we have not. prior we to have this video. We intentionally so haven't talked about it. I have a feeling us. I know your opinion based on your tone of so far in this <laughs> video, and it's, a, it's an opinion that I share. Uh, it reminds me of when Shaw joined the Montreal Canadiens two years ago. He did something very, very similar. I can't remember exactly what it was. I don't think it was a sucker punch, but maybe it was. And I just, re I think he got ejected. And I remember thinking, what a freaking idiot. He, like, why would you come to, it's, a, it's not even a season yet, you're preseason. You're going to drop the gloves in the preseason to fight someone and, and do it dirty. And you're going to get fined or I can't remember. I don't know if he get fined or suspended, but I just, I remember thinking, you idiot, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Well, what are you doing? And I feel the exact same way about Domi. Like, what are you doing? Why would you sucker punch someone? And like, I don't understand why anyone does that because there's cameras everywhere. Like, they're going to see it. You're going to get disciplined. It's very frustrating. That's the last thing Montreal needs right now is more media attention, more negative media attention. So it's as a Canadians fan, it's really frustrating. I agree. I completely agree. Max Domi has the team essentially made. He's not some prospect who's trying to be noticed exactly. in the preseason. He was acquired in a pretty high-profile trade. So his status on the team is somewhat guaranteed. At least it was. Um, if he keeps making judgment calls like this, however, if he turns into the bad side of Brad Marchand <laughs> instead of the, the player that Montreal wants him to be, I think that's trouble ahead. Uh, I have I have no challenge whatsoever to what the NHL has done. They called a disciplinary hearing for the afternoon following the game, which was this afternoon as we're filming this. Uh, I presume it was on the telephone. I don't know if he went down to New York. I think it, no, it was telephone. And uh, they've they've issued him the suspension. So now he's uh, he's sidelined as far as uh, playing in real games goes. And he'll probably practice and he'll maybe get some talkings too from the management and uh, coaching staff of the Canadians as to the kind of player they really want him to be. I'd be shocked if that conversation hasn't already happened and maybe happened a few times before the game even happened itself. And whether he, maybe they told him to, you know, make sure he didn't back down from anybody or something and he took that too far. Or they told him they don't want him to be like that. I don't know. His dad was in the audience and he didn't look too impressed. The thing, is, the thing about it is, like, I, I like Domi's physicality. I love it. I love it. It's, it. It is what Montreal needs. Yeah. But there's a line, and he went way above the line. Yeah. And not only did he go above the line, he sucker punched someone who has um, yeah. a history of concussions. Yeah. Now, hockey players follow the NHL like we do. They know what other players are have what injuries and oh, yeah. and, and stuff. So Domi knew that Ekblad had had cut concussions in his past. If he says he doesn't. I think it's a bold-faced lie, in my opinion. So to do that to Ekblad just adds another layer of just frustration for me, is to do that to, to him. So yeah. uh, to see one of my favorite team's players do that is um, really frustrating. And to be honest, the five-game preseason suspension I don't think is enough. should be five games of the regular season, the actual season, because preseason means nothing. It means nothing in his paycheck either, I'm guessing, because you're you're game suspension is probably divided by 82 yeah not by 87 or 88 or whatever yeah. so it probably is no penalty to him in a financial sense maybe the team will do something i don't know but i i felt really really bad clearly it's well a it's a preseason game why would you risk even your own self being injured he could have broken his hand 
yeah. or something, or I mean, could have injured Ekblad worse than he already did, however bad that injury is. We, like we, we saw Nicholas Delorier go, go down with a possible concussion in the previous game. Yeah. So, like, what, what's wrong with these people? It's the preseason. If you want to make a name for yourself and show that you're tough, maybe do it in a game that actually makes a difference. And, and, and when the game is on the line and it matters. Uh, early in the season, or even worse, in the preseason is not the time to do it. Just like it wouldn't be the time to pull a trick like that in the last few games before the playoffs. Yeah. When sure. there's a chance of getting injured. A lot of teams will, will back off a little bit, especially if they have the playoffs made. So this is just a bad time. The only time when that would be even contemplatable, if that's even a word, is if he wasn't yet on the team, he didn't have the team made, and he was worried that he wasn't going to be noticed, and he wanted to do something yeah. to bring the attention of the city to him as a, the kind of player that, that he could bring to the team, mm -hmm. or a kind of spirit. I like a lot of things about Max Domi. I like his energy. I like his his chance to have a brand new start, and I think that was going to do well for him. Uh, and I don't think this is necessarily killed yet by this, but it's one strike against him already, and the season has, hasn't even started. For me, that, that's one of maybe three strikes. And if he does more Marshawn-type things, which I consider that to be in the, in the, early in the season, I will uh, change my view of how happy I was when I heard that he was joining the team. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh, yeah. Hopefully he learns from this mistake. Um, I believe he will. Andrew Shaw learned from his mistake and Definitely. is much better now. Yeah. I, I hope the same thing happens for Domi. Um, with that said, it's not the fact that he punched him in the head and knocked him down. Well, if it had been a fair fight and he punched him in the head and knocked him down, everybody would be talking about it and being like, oh, wow, did you see that fight? That was yeah. awesome. It's the fact that it wasn't fair and he sucker punched him. There's a code in hockey when it comes to fighting. It's all about respect. You can punch a guy in the face a thousand times and then afterwards you pat each other on the back and give each other a hug yeah. and say good fight. You don't sucker punch someone in the face. And it's often about an agreement between the players before the fight even starts. They may agree to fight when they're waiting for the face off. Yeah. They may agree to fight on the ice. You want to go? You want to go? And then down go the gloves and then they circle each other for a while and then that way they go. It's it's fair and it's it's not arranged, but it's at least predicted with a few seconds uh, of a gap there. And, and that's why hockey is allowed, <clears throat> or that's why fighting is allowed in, in hockey. Yeah. Because of that code, because of the agreement, because it's yeah. fair. You don't see this stuff all the time. And looking at Ekblad's eyes, the whole time that he was tussling with Domi, he was looking away. He was not making eye contact exactly. with him. It was like, I don't want to be here. Leave me alone. Uh, probably the unsaid things in his mind. It's the preseason, you idiot. Let's just skate away from this. And if you want to fight later on, maybe we can tangle, you know, in <laughs> six months' lot. time or something. Uh, so it was all, it was going bad right from the very beginning. I'm... I would have been happier if Domi just hadn't th dropped the glove. If he'd given him the, the you know, the, the stinky glove in the face or something and gotten a two-minute penalty for roughing, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't see anything in the play leading up to it that would drive Domi crazy. I didn't either. Like, they talked maybe about a, a bit of a slash or something, but if there was, it was on the shin pad. It wouldn't have been on the back of the leg or someplace where it would really hurt. So, I, and, I, and watching the replay a few times, I didn't see anything that Ekblad did to draw that kind of reaction from Domi. So as a, as a big Montreal fan myself, I think I have to be objective here and say that that's a, a big opportunity missed for Max Domi to impress a lot of people. Mm. And uh, I think it's important that you use that word because <clears throat> this channel has definitely made us more unbiased. And uh, yeah. it's, I'm not afraid to, to make fun of my team or to, to talk bad about a situation of my team like I am in this video. Yeah. Um, it's, I'd be saying the same, the same thing regardless of what team uh, he's on. So yeah. I think just, that's proof that we are objective. Yeah. And yeah. if this continues to happen in the NHL, it could have, could have legal ramifications eventually. So the NHL is like that really frowning on this stuff. And you're going to see, hopefully the suspension suspensions increase and increase for stuff exactly like this. Um, because there's no need for this to be in any level of hockey NHL or below. No. So um, that's our thoughts on the situation. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Uh, if you have not seen it, um, go YouTube it and, and take a look for yourself. And yeah, just do a search for Domi Ekblad yeah, and you'll find it. Come on back and let us know. Obviously, we can't show it due to copyright issues, uh, unfortunately. But um, So thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you did like it. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios. Thank you.